A little more than five weeks now before the 2019 Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. But the prep work to get everything ready for the race started today. As Nick Monticelli reports from Belle Isle, there is a ton of work behind the scenes and they are actually becoming more efficient at it every year. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have no idea what any of this stuff is for. I'm told it's uh, flooring and posts and safety stuff. Oh my. Okay, they say so. But the folks who are running this organization, the entire race, say that they're trying to do this as fast as they can with as little impact as they can. And they're changing the time frame and shortening it again. There's a good chance you have either seen the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix on TV or have been there in person. But there's also a good chance you have never considered what it takes to make all of it happen. But what you're seeing kind of behind us here is some of the fencing and some of the flooring. That's so you a do lot. Know what this is. I'm somewhat. <laughs> it's not like I could set that up, right? Merrill Kane is a spokesman for the race and says crews will work 24 hours a day to get this set up now that they have shortened the time they're spending on Belle Isle. Now we've trimmed out as much as we can. This this year will be seven days less to build up, uh, build out the Grand Prix from what it was a year ago. The first round of setup is a lot of flooring and fencing, then grandstands, barrier walls and more. But race organizers say their goal is to impact as few people as they can. You'll notice the presence of our crews working, um, but you will not be impacted by any closures. Uh, all the attractions, all the roadways, everything remains open. All the access to Scott Fountain and the bridge and the picnic shelters and the casino and all of those things remain open and will remain open until basically about a week before the race. Which, by the way, starts on May 31st. I'm Bell Island. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick, and after that last race, the crews start tearing down immediately, and that takes a little more than two weeks to get done.